Hello, I'm General John Hyten, and I serve as Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. I'm here to talk to you about a national public health concern, suicide. Suicide impacts all of us and has become the 10th leading cause of death in the United States. To help prevent suicide among America's armed forces, we're working relentlessly to better connect. Connecting with family, friends, community, and resources such as Military OneSource is critical to our well-being and our preventing suicide. And to do this, we need to start with our chain of command. I sought help when I needed it. When I was commander of U.S. Strategic Command, I felt like I needed to get some help. I felt like I needed to talk to somebody. So I got an appointment with a psychiatrist and I was kindly offered an anonymous backdoor entry and I rejected it. If I'd had the flu, I'd walk through the front door to see the doctor. This was no different. Our mental and physical health are equally as important. They're the same thing. I got the help I needed and I'm stronger for it. So don't hesitate to get professional help. There are no negative consequences to your career and only positive results for you personally, for your family and your friends. It's important that the US military brings light to this complex issue of suicide because regardless of which uniform you wear, we're not immune from life's challenges, including thoughts of suicide. Ending suicide in our ranks is a top priority, not just during Suicide Prevention Month in September, but throughout the year. So I ask you to do your part, connect to protect leaders, reach out to your people, check in on them, follow up with your buddy, set aside time to listen, provide support, watch their six on and off base. If you or someone you know are in a crisis, know that you're not alone in this. Reach out, contact the Military and Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255, press one, text 838-255 or chat online with the veteranscrisisline.net. It's free, confidential, available 24 seven. Caring and trained responders, many of them veterans can help you. If you need help, please reach out.